Really being seen might be being on a stage in front of 10,000 people and being present. That might be being seen for you. Being seen for you might be sharing your truth in your relationship. Being seen might be posting your first blog ever. There's, there can be some fear and vulnerability in that. Being seen can be being a leader in these challenging times at the moment where there's so much uncertainty and everyone's looking to you for answers and, and that stability and you're willing to say, you know, I don't know right now. And for you, that's actually a moment of really being seen. So there's lots of different versions of what being seen means for us. What does it mean for you? I want to give you some examples and I want to hear from you what your being seen moments are. You might resonate with these and I wanted to give you some real examples that I've experienced with women that I've coached because I think that you'll hear yourself in these. And so one woman shared with me that she was going along with a group, of, uh, her group of friends and what they were saying and how they were reacting or acting or behaving and what, that, what kind of quality their conversations were about, whether that was about other people or, or negatively about situations. Or, and it made, she was feeling like that didn't feel comfortable for her, but she wasn't speaking up and saying anything. So being seen for her was actually having the courage to say, you know what, this conversation doesn't feel good to me. I'm actually wanting to either change a subject or maybe I'll go and do something else. So that was what being seen for her was. So not being seen for someone was saying yes to more work and just taking on more and more back from her people, but not actually holding her people accountable or delegating in ways that could allow her to step into more strategy. So saying yes to more when it wasn't a good idea. Sometimes yes to more is a great idea, but if we're not doing it with discernment, then that can have us feel overwhelmed, can't it? And so therefore being seen is about saying, I'm okay to help you, I can do it at this time, or I think that you could probably take it this far and then come to back to me once you've done that. So there's a whole different load of co colleague conversations and questions that we can ask so that we're not taking this on and feeling like that we're not seen, yes? Because often what can happen is that we feel not seen, but we blame other people. We blame others for not appreciating us or not... Um, listening or not realising we're there or maybe feeling dismissed when actually if we stop and reflect and go well who am I being that this is happening then we start to see what we're tolerating and maybe we shouldn't be because that's not working for us yes so I want you to be thinking of what your examples are of where you're holding yourself back and not being seen because I know that there are because that's why you're here okay I worked with a leader once who really amazing woman uh, very, very well respected in her field um, and speak on, you know, in front of camera, on stage a lot. And there were times, though, that she felt that she was taking up more space than she was worthy of, than she deserved. So when there was more than her on stage, how, how big should I be? How big should I let myself be in my energy? And so there was that quality of, mm, where can I let myself be seen here? Because I'm not sure what I should be taking away from someone else when actually she wasn't doing that at all, yes? So being on stage and giving ourselves space, and whether that stage, that stage is in front of a meeting of three people, yes? And one other one I want to give you is, um, let me see, being polite, not to cause conflict, but actually then feeling resentful. Yes, and I know this is a big one for many women is that we'll dance around it or we'll try and be nice or fix it for people or we'll create workarounds that end up just taking so much of our time and energy rather than lean into a difficult conversation and um, bring our full presence. There's other, other women of us who actually love difficult conversations but it can be from a dominant perspective and people don't feel safe to actually speak their mind. So that's not effective either. So being able to be seen is, can I, as I said be, earlier, be present in these difficult conversations, not be polite and not be dominant. So being, um, moving from being polite to being present is about being seen.